shelter in place. Those three words create some amount of anxiety. But let me tell you what else happened yesterday as well as the governor of the state of Alabama making that announcement for all of us, us citizens in Alabama. At the same, on the same day in which she was making that announcement, retail stores were trying to figure out how to limit occupancy in their stores. It was the first of the month. Everybody that receives income once a month had received that income before yesterday afternoon at four o'clock. Also happening yesterday was the first Friday of the month. Also yesterday, uh, banks and accountants were dealing with the first day of trying to sign people up for relief from the stimulus package. There was lots of anxiety to go around tomorrow. There's lots of anxiety that we're feeling today. And yet I think in the midst of that anxiety, there's great hope. I try to have my Bible here every time I speak in here because I think it's important. I think we lean into the Word of God during these times. I've tried not to just flippantly say, don't be anxious. Um, Jesus said that. So did Paul. But I've tried to offer hope and encouragement beyond just quoting that. Tomorrow in worship, I think the Lord has given me a word of hope, a word that will help us deal with our anxiety. Tomorrow's Palm Sunday. Jesus entered Jerusalem on a high note. They were celebrating. And yet he was walking into his death. I believe the word of hope for us is that he was walking into a blessing. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow in worship. I hope you join with us. It's also the first Sunday of the month, and we're going to celebrate communion together. So I want to invite you, if you're joining our service uh, tomorrow in worship, that you'll prepare for celebrating communion. I just invite you to get some bread of some kind, some juice of some kind, and be ready to share that with your family. I will lead us through that process as we worship together online. I have to say it'll be the first time in my life I've ever done online communion. And I'm the first one to admit it may not be theologically correct, and it will probably upset some people. But I think we need to share in the common celebration of Holy Communion tomorrow. So I hope you'll join us. Our celebration service, our contemporary service, begins at 8.30. Our traditional service begins at 11. If you're a part of our congregation, I just encourage you again to join us for worship. Prepare a space. Take the time to worship and, and do that in your home. Uh, if you're not a part of our congregation and, and you have a church home, that's, that's awesome. I just I encourage you to plug into your church home. You need to worship with your family, with your church family as well. But if you don't have a church home or if you just want to join us, I encourage you to, to watch in and hear a word of hope from God's Word. It's from my heart, but I, I'm trusting that it will be from God's Word. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow as we celebrate um, Palm Sunday. And we're going to wave palms in the morning. Our children's pastor, who is Tamara Matthews, who has done a tremendous job staying plugged in with our kids, is going to share a video of our children waving palms. So we'll do that. We'll do that at both services tomorrow. So it's, it's going to look a little bit like Palm Sunday. It's going to be totally different. Um, it's online. It's, it's not live as we normally do. But I think it will be a tremendous experience. And I invite you to join us tomorrow. I hope you have a good Saturday. And I hope um, I see you virtually in the morning online as we worship together at either 830 or 11. Have a good day.